Welcome back to In Focus here on the Voice of America. It's time to find out the latest in sports uh, with Sunny Yang from the Sunny Side of Sports. Now, Sunny, we know that the FIFA Under-17 tournament is still going on in Nigeria. Tell us where we stand in these games. Well, Vincent, entering Monday's action, six teams were still in contention for the trophy. Two quarterfinals are being played on Monday in Calabar and Kaduna. In Kaduna, it's an all-Spanish match, Spanish-speaking, between Spain and Uruguay. And that will be followed by another game in Calabar between the host country, Nigeria and South Korea. And Vincent, our In Focus viewers need to remember the Golden Eaglets of Nigeria. They've won this trophy three times in the past, so they have a very proud pedigree in this under-17 competition. Uh, and that is very impressive. Let, now tell us, how does Nigeria really manage to churn out this very uh, impressive young man? Well, Vincent, uh, one example of how they produce some of their top young talent is a Quara Football Academy located about 400 kilometers northeast of Lagos, the commercial capital. And this football academy is open to young boys between the ages of 13 and 19. They get an education while they fine tune their soccer. And uh, it's a very good opportunity for them to uh, both learn the game and get an education. This is what I missed. I could have been a big uh, football star. But Sunny, is, are there any other football highlights that you can share with us across uh, the continent over the weekend? Vincent, one of the big highlights took place in the Democratic Republic of Congo. That's where the club TP Mazembe won the African Champions League trophy, playing at home in Lubumbashi. TP Mazembe defeated Heartland FC of Nigeria by a score of 1-0. This was a two-leg series. On aggregate, it ended even at 2-all, but the Congolese club TP Mazembe won the title because of the away goals rule in addition to that trophy. They won one and a half million dollars in prize money, and they also get to play in the FIFA Club World Cup next month. Well, and of course, athletics and a Kenyan. Tell me about this, uh, uh, this uh, marathon in the Olympic city of Athens and a Kenyan there. Vincent, uh, this Athens marathon uh, is one of the toughest in terms of the course, lots of hills. And the Kenyan Josephat and Getich uh, did very well on Sunday. He won the Athens Marathon in two hours, 13 minutes and 44 seconds. Uh, he was very excited and he admitted afterwards that it was a very difficult course. Now tell me, uh, is there, what, what is the significance of this particular marathon? At, you know, because uh, it, it is happening at the mother or at the birthplace of the Olympics. Well, in in yeah. fact, Vincent, uh, they say the course is held on basically the first marathon held thousands of years ago uh, from the town of Marathon to Athens, Greece. Uh, it's, so it's a very historical course. That's probably the main significance of, of the marathon. Okay, Sonny, maybe next time you'll ask me, how do Kenyans manage to run so fast and so long? <laughs> but that's for another day. Thank you very much, Sandy. Watch for the Thank sunny you. side of sports each Friday on In Focus.